I think what makes Green Throttle a unique proposition is that, uh, well, besides just the controllers, is that the people behind it really come from a gaming background. They love playing games and they've had experience producing things for gamers. And I think that ultimately comes through in the products that you produce. The exciting part is thinking about this new genre of games that can be made, that you have a different experience while playing on your phone, and then you can come home and plug it into your TV and have a big screen experience. During the day, on your phone, you're doing little things that don't require the attention or the, the time commitment, so that when you get home and you can plug your phone into the TV, now you got the big screen experience, uh, and your character is, uh, you know, been leveled up and uh, it's just something that hasn't been possible before. So the barrier to entry on actually making a green throttle game is very, very small because you can pick up one of our controllers. The SDK is, is very tiny to, to integrate into what you already have. You know, you plug, you plug your device into a TV that you already own and, and guess what? You're making console games just like that. Green Throttle is, from a developer's perspective, plug and play. We take the software, we hook it up, all, this, all the buttons are, are pre-programmed for us. We can pipe that information into whichever editor we're using really easily and smoothly. It's, it's not difficult and it doesn't require even really a lot of engineering time. Mobile devices do introduce fun things like the touch interface, um, but the touch interface is not as compelling as a console controller. You know, you don't have that precise analog control, you don't have the easy on-off buttons, you don't have the selection of buttons. And so while certain kinds of games have been able to do well in that market, certain other games that uh, have been sort of classically successful on consoles haven't really been as successful on mobile. Now that we have Green Throttle controllers, we can build those games and we can create that home console experience right there on the mobile device. At Green Throttle, the reason why we have first party games is to be the, the premier developer on our own platform. It's to, it's to be ahead of the curve and show the best ideas and, and really kind of see those ideas with developers. So a game like Crystal Swarm will show the, the two controllers, it shows multiplayer, it shows the controllers and the two analog sticks, and it shows us off really well in a, in a not terribly complicated way. The, the kinds of support that we offer you guys is we, we offer an SDK that's obviously very easy to implement and uh, a lot of technical support for getting it implemented. And we also offer a lot of game types and demos to show you what can be done with our controllers. Um, yeah, it's very, very, we try and make sure it's very, very open and uh, very useful to developers. At the end of the day, you know, when you get together with your friends in the same room for a big TV with multiple controllers, that's some of the best game experiences you can ever have. Multiplayer gaming together with your friends in the same space is always to be the pinnacle of gaming.